Hey guys, it's Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to my redstone tutorial. So we're getting in the spirit of Christmas now and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a working Christmas tree. Now introduced in 1.11 of Minecraft was observer blocks. Now what this allows you to do is actually make a kind of flashing Christmas tree on a small scale. Before this wasn't possible because of the limitations of redstone but now we have observer blocks we can actually create a small Christmas tree which actually flashes its lights. Now as you can see this tree is packed out with decorations. We've got ornaments here, we've got snow, we've got a star at the top there and we've also got presents underneath. Now this is if you are in creative and actually have access to commands. I'm also going to be showing you guys how to decorate this if you are in survival mode by using banners and shulker boxes which still does look really good. But anyway, let's go ahead and let's get into this tutorial now. So the materials that you are going to need is two redstone dust, one redstone torch, six redstone repeaters, 12 observer blocks, 15 redstone lamps, 70 spruce leaves, or you can choose any of the others, four stairs of your choice, and then 64 blocks of your choice. So the first thing that we are going to do is decide where the tree is going to go. So once you've decided your position, so this is where the trunk of the tree is going to be, you want to dig out the block where it's going to be, place a redstone torch down the hole, redstone lamp on top of the torch, place your four stairs around the lamp, then on top of the, of the lamp here we're going to place an observer block so make sure you look down when you're placing this so the output is facing upwards so we're going to do this four times so place a observer and then a redstone lamp then do this three more times so observer redstone lamp observer redstone lamp and then last one here observer redstone lamp as you can see this is done four times so one two three and then four On this first redstone lamp from the bottom here, we're going to place observer blocks coming out like this. Oh, and make sure they're facing uh, out, the output's facing outwards, not facing down here. And then the last one over here. Then at the ends of each observer block here, place a block. And then after those blocks, place a redstone lamp. Now we're going to need to have to hop up onto these arms here, so we're temporarily just going to place some blocks there. Then again, on this lamp up, we're going to do the same by placing the observer blocks like that. And I failed. And I failed again. Now we're not going to place blocks at the end of end of these ones. We're just going to place the redstone lamps. Now you want to come to the front of your tree. So this is the front of my tree here. And what we're going to do with these two remaining redstone lamps is place it on the left and the right side of the next redstone lamp up there so that one I'm looking at right now so obviously it's a little bit difficult in survival mode to get up there but we'll just come at the back here and place a block there temporarily and then place it to the left and the right then we're just going to destroy the blocks that we just placed temporarily Now this is going to be an exception in one of my tutorials. Some of you guys might not like that I'm going to do this, but we're going to go into creative mode for this next bit just so we can actually place all the leaves. Because it's going to make a long tutorial if I'm just placing temporary blocks everywhere just to get up in a location, but obviously if you wanted to build this in survival you would um, take that time, but this is a tutorial. So uh, this should this is the exact amount of leaves you're going to need. So. How we're going to start placing them is under each of these kind of branches here. We're going to place three leaves like this. 
Then in the corners here, we're going to place one there and then two like that. The next layer up, we're just going to fill in this corner. The next layer up here, we're going to fill in this like this and we're not going to extend these two up now. So two under the branches and then we just put one in the corner like that. Next layer we just put one here in each corner. This one we do another two under here like that so now there is one above the light there. And then again extend these corner ones up as well. Come to the front of your tree here and we're going to place two leaves like that, two here and then one on top of that light and then one on top of there. Now we're going to go back into create uh, survival mode here and we've got one last thing we've got to do and that is actually make it so the tree flashes. So let's go ahead and what we're going to do is starting from here right at the front of the tree we're going to dig down. And then we're going to dig these blocks in front, right until you see the torch there. Dig this block down, and then again until you get to the torch there, but not the block that the torch is on. We're going to dig these blocks to the left here, underneath the blocks. Not these ones, the one underneath. And then dig the one to the left of the, the block the torch is on. We're going to have three repeaters going in this direction, and set it to the full delay. Then we're going to place three to the left of this facing the other direction. And again on full delay. At the end of this one here we're going to place a block and then fill in redstone here and then here. Now we're going to break this torch real quickly just so we can start it up. So just going to break this block here place the torch down then break it real quickly and then the loop should now start of redstone if we place the torch back here and then we're going to hop back up to the top cover this up you'll notice that the tree is now flashing its lights now obviously we don't have decorations on at the moment but we'll do this later in the video what I'm going to do now is explain to you guys how this actually works now this is something that wouldn't be possible in any versions prior to, I think, 1.11 when they added in observer blocks. So observer blocks pretty much detect if a block actually um, changes. If it does, it will send out a redstone signal. So what's happening underneath here is we actually have a little timer going on, which is just looping around at a, a fixed rate. And basically what's happening is each time the power goes into this block here, it turns off this torch. Um, and turns it back on really quickly which actually turns off this lamp here now just above that lamp I know this is very difficult to actually see but there's an observer block which is detecting that change so when that turns off it will send a signal out into a redstone lamp that again is very hidden uh, and then you know how we've placed the four observer blocks around it well they send a signal out to these redstone lamps on the outside here. We then have another observer block going up and then another redstone lamp which has the observer blocks going around it. They send out a signal to these ones so they're a little bit um, delayed from the ones prior to it. We have another observer block going up and this sends a signal out to these three, at th these three lamps at the top here. Then finally we've got the top here which um, is the last light and again we've got an observer block that delays it a little bit and then we've got the um, redstone lamp at the top there so as you can see it's kind of going whoop like that if you don't make sure you don't blink so it's pretty basic but um, hopefully you guys understood that explanation maybe this is more suited to people that are just beginning with redstone now if you're building this in vanilla you're kind of going to be restricted with decorations if you got creative and access to commands you can actually get some player heads which are 
make it look a bit better but let's go ahead and let's decorate it in vanilla so what I like to do is use white carpet to represent snow um, I can't really use the actual snow because the lights will melt it um, you can get red and green banners now which is pretty cool so you can use them to decorate uh, we can use a shulker box for a star at the top and then also might make it look a bit pointy by using a uh, head so we're gonna place a star at the top here and then place these zombie heads on the side here and also at the top and it kind of looks like a a cool I don't know it's a cool star <laughs> um, we're gonna place snow on the tree so place it around like that we're gonna place some banners on here now what I like to do is place them on the bottom block there so they kind of go into the tree then we can place some there uh, one there let's get a green banner place it there uh, there let's get another one down here place that there get some more snow on here fill up the patches we haven't touched so that's looking pretty good so far then we again we can use some shulker boxes as presents down the bottom and these are stuff you could actually fill up if you wanted to have a real kind of Christmas And as well, you can put some snow at the bottom here, just to give it a nicer look. That's not even a word. A more nice look, I should say. And there we go, how cool does that look? Now what I'm showing you guys right now is a way to actually get Christmas play ahead. So I'll put a link in the description below for this website. So you're going to actually need to have access to a command block to actually get these. But basically they are extra decorations, so as you can see, we have presents over here. Uh, we can go on to this red one here. I like the look of this red one. Then as you can see, you want to copy out this code here. So you just click copy. I think that copies it straight away. You want to come back to Minecraft, get a command block, paste that into there. Then you simply just want to get a button, put it on there and then spawn it. And then now we've got a red present. So now we can actually replace these with real presents, which honestly do look cool. You can angle them as well, I didn't notice that. We might get a different colored one real quickly. So I'm gonna pop in a blue present this time. And let's just add them around the tree here. You can also get ornaments as well, so you can place them on the tree like this. So instead of using the banners, we can actually replace them with the ornaments, which do look better, in my opinion. And then finally, you can have a uh, Santa Claus head if you want to, and you can actually <laughs> pop that on. Hey guys, it's me, Santa. How you doing? So again, link will be below for the website to get access to all these player heads. But anyway guys, that is going to end off this redstone tutorial today. Hopefully you've enjoyed. I'm going to try and do some more Christmas themed videos for you guys because Christmas is coming up and last year I didn't really do too many. So I want to do some more for you guys and get in the uh, spirit of Christmas. But that's it. I will see you guys later. Bye.